downloading some of the software, one of the things that came up said iMovie for editing. Yes. And so we are talking about Apple. We have the uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch screen here for you at a sale price of under $1,600. Six easy payments here as well for you. E231 531 and this is a new configuration that we're bringing you here for the month of April um, but let's talk before we go through some of the options here um, tell me what is different about this MacBook Pro because it looks very different than some of the older models I've seen it looks completely different so what okay. Apple did when they came out with the new versions of the MacBook Pro is they totally redesigned the computer so they made it thinner one of the things they got rid of was the traditional hard drive. We also have new connection ports. The actual design of the computer, if that keyboard looks larger, it's because it is. Mm. The keys are substantially thinner and larger, making it easier for you to type. That screen is absolutely spectacular. Again, everything from soup to nuts. The entire chassis was redesigned. A totally different machine than the MacBook Pros we saw from a year or two Even ago. Even the mouse pad is larger. I've never touched track one of these pad, before. Yeah, the trackpad's actually bigger as well. What Apple is doing actually with the trackpads, and we'll notice it throughout the course of this demonstration, is they're getting people away from having to learn that computer language. Mm. And what I mean by that is that shift control command, multiple combinations of pressing three keys at once, and they're moving everything towards the trackpad to kind of make the experience just like it is when we're using an iPad or an iPhone. So making it easier for you to use. So of course, you want to be easier. Let's make the trackpad a little bit larger. We want to na navigate through all those different apps and things. Um, I got to say, this computer feels so nice. It feels like you're gliding your hand over marble. Like it just literally glides. All right, but let me tell you how you should place your order. So we do have two colors available here in the laptop and then uh, several configurations in terms of the cases. You're going to receive the laptop, a wireless mouse, a mouse pad, had some earbuds here for you. Uh, you're also getting some cleaning cloths to keep your um, laptop clean. And then you have your choice here of either the space gray or the um, silver. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm showing this also comes with a, uh, a keyboard overlay. Keyboard overlay that'll match the color of your clip-on case. Okay, yeah. so then, so you choose you want the space gray or the silver, and then in either one of those options, you can say, I want the space gray with perhaps this metallic, um, that rose shade down here. I could do space gray with the rose, or I could do silver with the rose, but just know, as I go through these colors, we have less than 100 remaining in each of the options. So there you have the rose. Here is your gold, the silver, the purple, the black, right there. And then we have the clear option for you as well. So you order based on the color of your laptop and the color of the case and just know the keyboard overlay is gonna match back. And then real quick look here at our value because typically things like earbuds and keyboard overlays and snap-on cases and mouses, those are not included when you get a MacBook. So our um, QVC price here typically for this would be $1,939. But here we're bringing you the latest redesigned model with a really fast product processor, meaning it's a really soft, fast computer for less than $1,600. And again, you have easy pay. Just remember, easy pay is not something you need to um, apply for here at QVC. Nope. You can do that with any major credit card, and it just helps you get home some of those bigger ticket items, like a new laptop, a new um, camera, something like that, and break it up over several months on any major credit card. So in this case, E231 531 is your item number. Um, and just a reminder, you know, going back to the basics, this is Apple and they are known for bringing us the top when it comes to technology, design, everything about it. Um, is, is really premium. It is, and all those built-in programs as well, which is one of the things that I love. And those programs are the same exact programs that we have on our iPads and our phones. So what people do when they pick up one Apple product, they typically go on and get the next one right. and the next one because these devices work so synergistically well together. Mm -hmm. Because when you want to be able to do things like, let's say you want to create a document, there's a document creator in here. It's called Pages. It allows you to create amazing documents. You can also use that on your iPad. You also use that on the phone. In fact, we have a whole list of all the programs that come with your MacBook Pro the first time you turn it on. Photos, to manipulate those photos. iMovie, I got a really cool video to show off later in the presentation. Numbers, Keynote, Safari is your web browser. Organizing your email, your messages, FaceTime with friends and family around the world. Access to the App Store, the Maps application with 3D Maps. Contacts, reminders, all these programs come loaded 
on your MacBook Pro the first time you turn it on so you're ready to get the job done and there's no subscription required. So all those software programs are already on the computer. Right. You're not paying anything extra. So when you want to take that awesome video, and I got to try to stay you know, pace here with Sarah Cotalesi because she was showing some cute little kid videos. She was. Well, this is my little one I've got of my, my girl Aww. right here. Aww. Uh, hold on, I got to turn it around here so everyone can see it. There, there's my daughter sledding a couple weeks ago when it was a little chillier here in Westchester. <laughs> but what I did, it, yeah, there we go. Oh. But that's my girl sledding down the hill here with one of those fun little action cameras. I took a bunch of 10 second, 15 second clips. We weren't going far down the hill at all, but I took all those clips, I edited them together in a program like iMovie, made the transition, added text. Now it can be a two or three minute video. I could post it on YouTube, I could share it at their birthday, mm -hmm. anything like that. And that's how cool it is to work on these programs that Apple provides for you. It's really nice. And just so you know, if you you know have, say, an office environment where you have to use Microsoft type programs, you can always get that with your Mac too. Is that right? You can yes, just you can. go to their website and download that software if you need it. But now talking about the Mac, I mentioned that this computer is really, really fast. Can you it tell is. me um, what kind of, is it called a process? Processor, the Intel processor that's yeah. in here. Okay. So the processor, think of it as kind of like the engine inside. Okay. You know, we have the engine inside of our car. We have the processor inside of our computer. What this is, it's the Intel Core i5 processor. And the reason that matters is when you're working on all those different programs and you want them to pop up, you want them to move quickly. So we talked about the photo editing. Well, there's a look at that iMovie right there. That program is not an easy program to run. So if you ever open up your computer and you kind of wait for things to happen mm -hmm. and you get frustrated with that little Often. swirly, 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 that's a frustration that a lot of people have with older computers that don't have the powerful processor. And we have a lot of high intensive video programs running here at the same time. The Intel Core wow. i5, we're streaming QVC Live right there, as you can see. I got my photos open, had that iMovie open. If you want to be able to do all that high intensive cool stuff, without waiting around for it to happen, that's why you need to have a great processor. This has that Intel Core i5. Which is really nice, because then you can do all those programs. And by the way, mm -hmm. iMovie may be difficult to run in terms of the internal workings of the computer, but to actually use is very, oh, very, easy, very use, yes. easy. And just remember too, with Apple, you always have Genius Bar, where you can walk in for support. They have classes, you can call them if you need support. But now, can you give me also um, just a little tour of what's included here? Because I know we don't have, typically we have a full hour sometimes when it comes to computers and we don't have that today sure. so we are rushing and this is worthwhile on giving the tour not just to show off the beauty of the machine and show off all those tech specs but it's different we talked about the entire redesign of the macbook pro that we have here so first of all this screen has 227 pixels per inch why do you care about that this is actually sharper than a 1080p television set so wow. look at all of that great detail. We're showing the Maps application as we're touring through downtown Miami. There. Wow. And look at how crystal clear those images are on that beautiful screen with an Intel Core i5. The full-size keyboard that's actually redesigned, it's larger than the previous versions of the MacBook Pro. The keys are bigger, but they're also thinner, which allows us to create a thinner machine. These oh. are still backlit, the keys? Yes, still backlit keys. Oversized trackpad right underneath which allows you to navigate all those different apps. So we're swiping across photographs when we're navigating through iMovie. Again, easier with the larger trackpad. Take a look at this. When I turn to the side, that ain't your dad's computer right there, is it? This is a little bit different. You <laughs> yeah. see anything there? Not much going on there, right? No. Thinner design. We have our headphone jack on this side. Let me turn around and show you what the newer technology we're looking at here oh, is a is new that? port. So there's not the traditional USB. There's no, there's no Thunderbolt port. There's no SD card port. What this is right here, this is called a USB-C. This is a newer type of technology that Apple is at the forefront of putting in their computers. Uh -huh. These ports right here, moving forward, are the only ports you're going to need because USB thumb drives are gonna be moving to USB-C, not the traditional big thick port. Okay. It's gonna be a smaller port. The same exact port is what's gonna power your computer. Same exact yeah. port is what you're going to be plugging everything into your computer. We're becoming more and more of a wireless society, and that's where the technology is going. 
And this is the new port that Apple is putting on their products. Question for you. If I mm-hmm. still have old things on those old thumb drives, can I get yes. a converter? Absolutely. Okay. You, you can get a converter to plug in there to allow you to plug into the MacBook Pro. And it'll let, give you the ability to plug in SD cards, be able to plug in the old school USBs. Backup and drives. Backup drives, to. all that stuff. Another thing you're going to notice that's not on this computer, you don't have the CD, DVD drive. Right. So if you want to get an adapter and get a portable CD, DVD drive, they cost about $35 to $40. You, I think they're available on QVC.com. But again, by getting rid of a lot of that older technology and being at the forefront yeah. of the new stuff, this computer weighs less than two and a half pounds when you want to take that. it with you. They're I was just going to say, it's so light for a MacBook Pro. Typically, we don't think of that as being such a light option. But this is really nice, light and then, of course, absolutely beautiful as well. And then, remember, you're also getting some built-in apps here, which we reviewed earlier. Real quick, what about the um, storage on this? Flash storage, another piece of new technology so we okay. don't have a spinning hard drive. You have 128 gigabytes of flash storage. That's an advantage because, first of all, it allows you to open your programs more quickly, mm-hmm. it takes up less space inside of the computer, and also heck of a lot lighter weight, too. So if you looked at a traditional hard drive, a traditional hard drive we were put in this computer is actually thicker than this computer. So we used to think the MacBook Air was the only skinny MacBook. Right. Not anymore. Apple's putting flash storage inside of all of their laptops now moving forward. So it's that newer technology that makes them lighter weight and also makes them a heck of a lot faster, too. It's a nice little footprint, too. It's only a foot wide and then even shorter on, you know, the, the long side. Or, sorry, a foot long short on the mud set. Um, so it's a really, really nice footprint. Just a reminder here of your colors. Here we have that space gray, which is the most popular option. It's a little bit darker than the silver. So remember, you're getting home the MacBook Pro 13-inch laptop. You're also going to receive um, some earbuds, cleaning cloths, a little keyboard overlay, which, you know, if we're eating as we're on our computer, just keeps the crumbs out from underneath the keys, which can cause problems, mouse pad, all these little bonuses that typically you'd pay extra for and then you place your order based on do I want the space gray which is the darker option with the rose or do I want perhaps a silver with the gold so that's how you're ordering rose gold silver so that would be like silver silver or space gray silver depending on the computer you're getting the purple the black and then finally is that clear option e231531 is your item number and by the way highly recommended to protect your new purchases. So we have here um, Square Trade is something that we recommend. You could go to qvc.com, search Square Trade. They cover all kinds of things that a lot of other policies don't cover, whether it's your laptop. You can even insure, by the way, um, like washers and dryers, TVs, camera. They cover a lot. So do check that out if you don't have those big purchases insured. 